to bring you that but now let's get on to cripple creek okay so i have several versions of this out there i have like a jam i have a whole bunch of different tabs for it and all kind of stuff um but i want to um get you starting to think through your songs when you're playing them right you know how i feel about tabs and how i think that um you know, they're a great way for somebody to get started, but that I don't want you reliant on them. And I want you to do, I, I want you to do more and expand on what you learn, okay? So, for anybody who knows that song and has learned that tab or is familiar with that song in any way, and even those who aren't, this is going to be interesting, okay? So we know that the song has three chords to it, right? It's got a G, a C, and a D7 chord that we use, all right? So I can just, off the top of my head, there's just like 10 different ways to play it, okay? And um, so let's go through some of them, all right? This is gonna be fun. Um, let me change the camera around just a touch here. Cripple Creek, all right? In its simplest form, we've got the chords that I've taught you here. Your G is open, your C, and your D7, right? Wrong. That's not the simplest form. I've taught you that, yes. But the simplest form would be bar chords, right? So take a look at this here. This is our G, right? our easy chords here but we've also got these bar chords so I don't want you to uh, you know I've never really taught these but here is a C bar chord right at the fifth fret so you've got the C bar chord that you can do so knowing our music theory and what I've showed you about that from C to D we have two half steps to go up to D, right? Between C and D, there's a semitone, right? B and C, there's not, right? E and F, no. But C, uh, C and D, there is. So we've got C, C sharp, D flat, D, right? We can do a little slide there. We can just do our regular bar chord there all right so that's one way of doing it right and then your regular chords that's another way of doing it right okay and then we've got the way that me and a heck of a lot of other people teach and that's like this <laughs> people teach it right so we've got that way but what else can we do here okay so let's do some experimenting here let's go up here to the seventh fret all right let's do that for our first part for this part right let's try that Slide from the seventh to the ninth. That's a good little first part there. How about this? That's just second string, third string, D7, and open third. Okay? How 
Ready? 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 Ready
And see, when you go fast and you want to go faster, sometimes you'll take these things out where you have to do a little with your fingers there, uh, just to make it a little faster. Just keep in mind, there's a lot of different things you can do here. I guess I'll tab some of these out, put them up on Patreon for my patrons uh, who'd like to have a little help exploring. Um, mix and match too. just wanted to show you that um, because I feel like people get locked in too much way too much all right we don't want to be locked in we want to have freedom to express ourselves and um, can you do too much of this probably yes you, you know you can always do too much of anything right so uh, you can mix and match some I wouldn't do every single one in every time you play it or anything like that but Maybe the first time through, do, do it uh, one way. Next time through, do it another way. You know, normally when you play these songs, you don't just do them one time through and you're done. You do it several times through. And this can make your playing interesting sounding. It can also be good for backing, okay, of other instruments. So, lots of things you can do. So, um, if you're backing or playing with another instrument and they're doing a lot of rhythm, you might want to do some of those single notes, you know? Um, and I'm not talking about during your lead either. I'm just talking about as you're backing, you know? And you can emphasize some notes here and there, emphasize some strums here and there, emphasize some thumbs here and there, do a bunch of different things. You can do drop thumbing. You can do double thumbing. You can just, you can have fun with it, okay? So I hope that this um, will get you thinking outside of the box a little bit, okay? And, um, and yeah, I, I think that's going to do it for today. Um, before I go, I always want to remind you that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, y'all.